Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregory Martin, AKA the Super Producer, and we're back with another video. Now, before we get into the video, please don't forget to smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. You should notify whenever I post a new video, and it also helps the channel grow. And with that being said, let's just jump right into today's video. And today we're reviewing the Netflix movie, Work It. Now, I wasn't originally going to even watch this movie because it just didn't look like it was something for me. From the thumbnail, I could definitely tell that it was going to be some type of high school or college dance movie. But I will say, I'm actually kind of glad I carved out 90 minutes to watch this because it was actually really good. The film is about this high school student named Quinn whose whole purpose in life seems to get into Duke University. And that's because her father who passed away when she was younger also attended the school. Because of that, she's valued maintaining a 4.0 GPA, volunteering at nursing homes, playing the cello, and just any activity related into making a very, really compelling uh, application to get into Duke. She's invited to this admissions interview at Duke where she believes her high school resume makes her an absolute shoe-in to get into the university. However, she finds out by talking to the interviewer that her resume, her high school resume, just isn't unique enough because everybody who's trying to get into Duke has the same resume as her. Everyone has a 4.0, everyone has some volunteering on their resume, they play an instrument. It makes all the applicants look um, cookie cutter, uh, ubiquitous, um, everyone's just, it's the same. During the conversation with the interviewer, she's asked about any extracurricular activities that she may have. And the only thing that she's been doing outside of academics is she is the lighting operator of her school's dance troupe. And actually, the scene prior, she was fired from that position uh, because she uh, spilled coffee on the lighting board and, and, and injured someone. However, like most teen movies, she doesn't tell the interviewer that part. She tells the interviewer instead that she's a part of this dance team. And because she tells the admissions interviewer that she has this dance background, they believe that this is a way for her to enter into the uni university. The only thing is she doesn't know how to dance. And that's really what sets the movie into motion is, you know, she embarks on this, this journey on her basic need to learn how to dance to get into Duke University. And along the way, the journey of her learning to dance uh, helps her embrace life just outside of academics and really to embrace um, all of her passions, uh, to, to really be passionate about other things than just about herself. Because that's one thing the movie noted uh, was really keeping her from really having these, these, um, these really great friendships. And throughout the course of the movie, we, we see that, you know, this, this dancing, this, this group activity uh, has opened her up, opened her eyes up to that, you know, yes, she still wants to get into Duke University. And when that seems like it's not a possibility, you know, she gets offered a opportunity to get into NYU. And she never thought that as a possibility before because she was so closed-minded. And I think that's one of the messages that the film is trying to get across. This was a highly entertaining and funny movie, I, I must admit. Like I said, I was a little hesitant after the, the thumbnail, but it was good. The writing, I think at parts they were trying to force some of the comedic or the just the comedy. You know, some of the, the scenes just were kind of fell flat and you know, I, I, I see what they were trying to do, what they were, what they were attempting to do but it just didn't land on me. Maybe it lands on someone else better. Um, but I think the actors did a really good job of taking the lines and making it their own, um, especially these young these young actors. Um, because I don't really remember uh, after I checked the, the actors' credits to see them doing a lot of, a lot of comedies, but all, all of them did a, a wonderful job delivering the uh, comedy, the comedy timing and even the drama they did really well uh, I think I think this was a really good uh, film I think these young actors here did a really good job the film doesn't star a lot of famous actors but there are some familiar faces that people will recognize uh, one person that I recognize just off the bat Liza Koshy 
who is this huge YouTuber. Um, right, I mean, she is huge. Um, she has like 17 million subscribers. And I was a little bit embarrassed by myself because I knew who she was prior to even watching this movie. Um, because I, I, I know I've seen, I've seen a couple of her videos on YouTube and, I, and I've definitely seen some stuff that she's done, like these comedy skits that she did with Will Smith. Whenever Gemini Man came out, that may have been last year, uh, but I remember seeing her doing these skits, so I, I was aware of her as a YouTuber, and I knew she was uh, funny, so it was actually cool to see her in this uh, in this role, and I, I think she did a really good job. You know, if I didn't know she was a YouTuber, I would've thought she was just a, um, a young young actress, a young comedian actress. Um, you know, she was really good. Um, who else is in it? Jordan Fisher is in it. He's a uh, actor. He's a dancer. I think he's a singer too. But he's done a lot of these teen movies. Like the kid is almost 30 years old, but he has like this baby face. He also won Dancing with Stars. So this is a, a extremely talented guy, and he did a great job in his role as well as the best dancer in the state. The character Quinn was played by uh, actress Sabrina Carpenter. Um, I, I saw that she's a singer, actress as well. Um, I'm not too familiar with her work. The biggest thing that I saw in her credits that she's done is the, uh, she was in the reboot to uh, Boy Meets World, uh, Girl Meets World, I think it's called. So a really good collective of young actors um, that came together and made a really really good film. Now I don't feel that this film is going to live in the cult classic uh, realm um, just because I feel like it was more comedy than drama even though there was like some some very meaningful drama for the characters I just don't think it lives up to some of the other dance movies that we hold in high regard even the ones that we kind of think, think are cheesy um, like the uh, the bring it ons or the step the step ups or you know uh, save the dance save uh, whatever whatever that movie's called like those type of those types of films I didn't have the, I didn't have that feeling watching it and I don't know if this is going to age the way that those films did um, just because I just thought it was more comedic and didn't have the some of the heart that those films had but like I said this was a really good film and uh, a really good watch that I, I enjoy. And I think, and I think if a 37 year old man can enjoy it, then, you know, I think anybody is uh, able to enjoy this film. Well, that is my review of Work It, currently streaming on Netflix. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.